four. It takes good eyesight. It takes good eyesight to see your own fault. So it's easy to see what other people are doing wrong. So look at this one. Look at that one. Yeah, look at this one. Look at that this one is working. Yeah, this one is doing. Some of these people look at themselves past yourself. If you see what they are doing. Some of these people look at themselves sisters. See what they are doing. You are busy studying other people's life. Instead of you to become a PhD student and study your own life. One of the hardest things to do in life is to point accusing figures to yourself and say, I was wrong. A man stole a goat and they dragged him to court. And the judge said, this young man, instead of you to go and walk, you are stealing goats. Say, my Lord, point of correction, my Lord, my Lord, I don't want to be angry here. My Lord, point, <laughs> point, <laughs> point of correction, my Lord, I did not steal a goat. I stole a rope. I stole a rope. It was when I took the rope home, I found a goat at the back of the rope. The judge said, okay, well, very well then. But you, the rope, and the goat, jail. <laughs> the Bible says it in another way. It said, why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye? Why you refuse to remove the log in your own eyes? It's a log of wood in your eyes. You're talking about the speck. Another person's life. The Bible says, comparing themselves by themselves, they are not wise. You don't use others as your yardstick. Jesus is your yardstick. It's possible to say, well, I don't come in fornication. Thank God I don't have, uh, I don't have girlfriends or boyfriends with which I commit fornication. But I use soap to excite my penis. The same thing. The only is even worse. You are sleeping with soap. <laughs> it's possible, God forbid, you come to the street and you find a pastor smoking. But nobody brought the pastor did not save your soul. It's Jesus that saved your soul. And Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. Not any pastor. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, human beings are not your focus. Jesus is your focus. I was telling them this story at the headquarters. I was uh, uh, this woman who married a husband. And the husband used to beat her. Serious beating. Bag, 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 blonde. She will cry, cry, cry. The, she, the man will lock the door. Neighbors cannot come to bail her out. So the beating was getting much. Then one day, the sister and I said, I, 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 The sister didn't use to fight back. I said, I think I, it is time for me to. If I don't fight back, this man will kill me one day. So one day, as the man started giving her blow, bag, bag, bag again, the woman just settled down very well and gave him a blow in the chest. Just one blow. And the man fell down. Ah, the woman was surprised. Say, eh? The man can fall. So she just, she just sat on him. And gave him serious pounding. So, beginning from that day, anytime there was a fight, the woman who was trying to survive the initial blow would just look for his chest again. <laughs> B. Down he goes. And the woman would sit on him. That was our power change hands. <laughs> it was now the turn of the man to go and be reporting that to the pastor. Say, pastor, talk to madam. She's, she's beating me up. Talk to madam. She's beating me up. So the pastor said, the pastor now gave them an appointment. He said, come and see me. One particular Sunday. So, herself and her husband, they started going to the pastor's house. But a few minutes, a few yards to the pastor's house, they saw the pastor and the wife <laughs> boxing. The man now said, Ha! Say, Dear, let's go and solve our problem. This is a pastor fighting. It takes a good eyesight to see your own fault. 